In this video, I want to demonstrate using Napalm with Ansible. So I've written a Ansible playbook and it, it actually includes a Napalm module. And I'm going to demonstrate that here. I have three windows open. This first window here is just a file called initialconf. It has a snippet of the uh, running config for one of the switches in my home network, A3560. Uh, so as you can see, I'm going to just change the host name here to our test. And I have the uh, switch open here in the in this window. Um, and then in this window uh, is where I'm running my Ansible playbook. So uh, now that we've made that change in the initial config file, uh, I'm going to run the Ansible playbook again in this window. So it's actually creating a diff in another file I have called initial.diff. So it does take a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part. Okay, and it's done. So we'll hop over to this terminal here. So as you can see, when I hit enter, uh, it did go ahead and change the configuration. So it's a little different uh, from your normal Ansible playbook. I didn't have to write uh, any commands in. I just actually edited a snippet of uh, configuration over in this file. So if I show run on this, this is a uh, Cisco 3560. Uh, let's do another example here. So we have a username. Let's see if we can add a user, make this snippet of configuration a little bit bigger. So I have my first user in here, Pi, and I'm gonna actually add a second user just by uh, copying this here. And so keep in mind, I'm not actually entering any commands. I'm just uh, editing this little snippet of the running config here. So we'll call this new user Leroy. We'll give him privilege 15 as well. Give him the same password of Cisco. Okay, so now we've added a little bit to that to that bit of code there. We'll save this with a right quit. We'll jump over to this terminal and run the Ansible playbook again. I'll just do a clear on this so it's a little bit easier for you to follow. Okay, it's running through the Ansible playbook. Like I said, it is uh, altering the diff file. Also, so this does take just uh, about a minute, so I'm going to fast forward this. And it's done, so let's hop over to the switch, show run again. There we go, we have a new uh, bit of code in there that says username Leroy. So we were able to create the new user using Napalm. Uh, so again, we didn't even have to enter any commands, and Ansible didn't enter any commands. Uh, we simply edited the initial config file. Those changes were then applied uh, to the file containing the running config on the switch. So let's go for a third and final example. Uh, so we will uh, VI our initial config file one more time. We'll add a little bit more uh, config in here. All right, let's change the VTP domain. We'll change that. Right now I have it set at Cisco. We'll change that to test. All right, escape colon right quit. Save my initial config file. Uh, I'll come over here, I'll clear this again, just so it's easier for you to follow. Uh, we'll hit up, just rerun our playbook here. I'll speed this up. Okay, it's done. We'll hop over to the 3560 switch, and we will show run. Okay, there it is, VTP domain test. Cool, so every time we uh, edit these initial config file and then run our playbook the file on the switch that contains the running config uh, will then reflect those changes and that's without entering any commands uh, onto the device cool well that's the example i wanted to show you guys of napalm i hope you enjoyed it